After I had finished writing a book of odes, I found that I was writing poems um, a little different after that. Uh, they were more musical, more extended, and had perhaps fewer ideas and more feeling in them. They were personal. Uh, and I realized they were like songs. And so I started calling them arias. And then in November of 2018, I suddenly understood that the end of the world was a real thing that was really going to happen with the waters rising. And um, I had never really dared to believe it before. It had been too horrible to really take in. And so then I began to start to write poems, uh, which try to acknowledge that part of our species history. Um, yes, one of the one of the questions I have here is, what do the beginning stages of writing a poem look like for you? Um, I thought of one poem in Arias which is called, I Cannot Say I Did Not. Very arty, arty, fancy title, I think. And um, it came out of something I was thinking of, which was, could I be said to have asked to be born? Did I want to be born? Um, whatever, you know, that might mean. And so I wrote a poem that began, I cannot say I did not ask to be born. And then there were many things that came into my mind that could be called uh, the desire of someone who doesn't exist yet to be conceived. So I think my poems tend to begin with questions, with something I don't understand. And then once I ask, ask the question and sort of get moving, then the images come uh, from deep in my mind, then down my arm and out my pen, onto the paper. I don't think them up. I'm not able to invent uh, metaphors and similes. Um, they just seem to come out my pen, which means they're coming from my unconscious. And thank God they are, because that's all, that's the poetry in my poetry, I think, is uh, the simile. Um, how do I know when a poem is complete? I'm able to stop writing it. I'm able to stop rewriting it. It comes to a last line, which I hope will be something that the poem has brought itself to, uh, or brought my unconscious to. Hopefully some kind of, at least somewhat new understanding of things. And once that's over, then I don't go back to it, at least for a few days. Partly because if I think I like the poem, I can think that for a few days. And so I'm happy. And then some often I go back to it and, oh, it needs very much work. But if it hasn't come to an ending that feels new to me, then I won't work on it again. I write a lot, so unlike many poets who uh, prepare with notes and write one section, then perhaps another, and then maybe move another section in between those two, for me, it all comes out in one um, sitting, uh, if it's going to work well enough for me to want to show it to anyone else.